Hi guys, this is Intishan from Motri Middle East here with you. Just a quick walk around of the new Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. What's the Trailhawk? Well, it's the off-road capable version of the Cherokee Cherokee. So it's got these nifty little tow hooks here. It's got an extra inch of ground clearance and slightly better Yokohama off-road tires, which are actually sand style, not rock style, which is why they're not Firestones. It's got different bumpers at the back, so that gives you a little bit extra ground clearance. It's actually different. It really is actually different and a special exhaust just for Trailhawk. The looks, I don't know, a lot of people are going to be going, well, that looks like a sportage at the back. And the regular is just sort of, well, what is that? And the front, oh boy, what happened at the front? But for me, I quite like it after a couple of days. You know what it reminds me of? The Isuzu Vehicross. And I like the Vehicross. That was a really willfully weird car. And this is a car that's not going to be for everybody. And think about it like this. Would you rather be in a RAV4 or CRV? Can you even remember what those looked like? My point exactly. So let's see what it's like from behind the wheel. I'm just going to get in, start her up, start button. Oh, this thing is absolutely loaded with kit. Absolutely loaded. I'm not going to go through everything because I don't want to bore you senseless. This is all my personal favorite bits. Check it out. A place to store your um, secrets and things. This is quite handy. This is lane departure. So actually, it'll ping pong between the lanes and keep you in lane. It'll do that only for a certain amount of times. So after about five or six times, it's going to be like, well, stop it. And it'll turn off. But it's quite handy to have. I can turn it off and it'll stay off the next time I want it off, so which is nice. This is interesting. This is the front front collision warning. So what that happens when you go behind a car, it'll if you get too close or if traffic stops all of a sudden, it'll fire a huge brake warning. It's a big alarm. You can't miss it. I see no reason not to have it on all the time unless you're tailgating bastard, in which case we don't like you. This is automatic parking. So that's quite handy and that'll actually park the car for you. I mean, everything, the whole the wheel will turn, it'll do the whole walk and it'll actually park in perpendicular spaces and it'll park in parallel spaces. So no matter how bad you are at parking, this car can handle it. And it really works. It really works. Although again, it's really boring to watch, which is why I'm not filming it. Oh yeah, and this is an actually a really off-road capable car. So it's got a dial that does all the usual stuff. These are not just labels. If you turn it into sand, sport or mud, it changes the, uh, the traction control system, so that changes up there. And it actually changes the way the gearbox works, which is a 9-speed, world's first, let's not forget. And it actually is able to keep the car slightly longer through the gears, so it won't change up as fast. It's good to have. In sport, it's actually slightly better. In regular, it's a little bit hesitant. That's the only problem I can really find with the Cherokee, is that the regular transmission programming is a little bit, um, shall we say, conservative and more biased towards fuel economy, whereas the sport version keeps it really nice and peaky on the engine, which is a 3.2 V6, and is definitely probably the most powerful in the segment. The Sans uh, mode is actually quite handy. In fact, as a matter of fact, you can pick the gears manually, and this is the right way down, pull for uh, forward and down for uh, downshifts, but you don't have to, because I actually like the way it is in Sand mode. In Sand mode, it knows what it's doing. It's better than I am when I'm changing gears in the sand, so can't complain. And check it out, an actual low-range box, which it won't do unless you're in neutral. So it has to be in neutral. And there you go, it's on. And these are quite handy, downhill assist. And what's this? Well, these are actually basically the same thing. So for all intents and purposes, when you turn this on, this is a kind of off-road cruise control. So it'll go over obstacles and it'll know what it's doing. So you don't actually have to do anything, which is handy and a rear diff lock, which can you believe it on a crossover, a rear diff lock, but this one actually works. And if you're going off road, you will want to have a diff lock. This just means that you basically will never get stuck in the sand because it'll never be spinning one of those wheels and make you look like an idiot. Well, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed my little walk around of the Cherokee. See you next time.